If you don't recognize one of these little machine, you're probably far too young. But that's good, because you're probably familiar with the game Pokemon Go, or at least heard about people flocking to King's Park to catch this thing called a Pokemon. According to Nintendo, Pokemons are creatures who either live in the wild or alongside humans. Pokemons are raised by owners called trainers. In the past, playing Pokemon with your friends were through the use of this GBA Link cable. Traditionally, playing Pokemon on handheld devices are considered separate from real life, where special rules exist such as the ability in having a sleeping giant fit into a Pokeball. But are these realistic in real life? Dutch historian Johan Huizinger coined the term magic circle which is the separation between play as an activity and one's reality. However, contemporary video game scholars, the trio, Nielsen, Smith and Tosca, finds the magic circle problematic as play and video, video games very much coincides with everyday life and real life consequences. Pokemon Go is an example where our reality is intertwined with the game we play, challenging the magic circle term. So what is Pokemon Go? Released on the 6th of July 2016 on the Apple and Google Play Store, it's a free mobile phone game. It's the integration of virtual Pokemon world, like the ones from the Game Boy series, with our everyday environment, utilizing GPS technology. Pokemon Go maps replicate real life maps from the streets to the outback, practically anywhere accessible by the public. Pokemon Go is about catching all existing Pokemons there is out there, almost 600 Pokemons that is. Besides catching Pokemon, you want to utilize your Pokemons to battle for it to become stronger. With battles, you gain XP points and level up. The highest level for a trainer is level 40. As games coincide with everyday life and real life consequences, one of the consequences of Pokemon Go, a positive consequence rather, is the effort of physical exercise when roaming around on the map. This is a form of gratification where walking around to catch Pokemon and hunt for goodies translates to calories burnt. This takes the phrase, go and play outside, to a whole new meaning. With careful placement of in-game features such as rare Pokemon in a unique location, it also encourages players to physically travel to different areas of their locality they were not usually explore or visit. Pokemon Go is also a form of quality family time, outdoors. Family members can be part of the same team, combining their efforts to defeat a powerful Pokemon. Pokemon Go also encourages making friends from all around the world by offering unique Pokemon and gifts that are impossible to acquire in certain regions. The value of meaningful gift exchange between strangers is what Ermi and Meira argues as part of the immersive experience of digital games. Pokemon Go thrives as a free app and according to CNET, Pokemon Go has been downloaded more than 1 billion times as of mid last year. So how is it making so much revenue? Well, to be the best Pokemon trainer, players often desire to have more in-game coins to purchase items which improve their playing experiences. Instead of grinding more hours for in-game coins, players have the option to use real-life money to buy more in-game coins.